guys, welcome back to a YouTube channel and I know we're a little bit behind on the videos because I am back at the salon now and being pregnant it's just a little bit crazy for me but But uh, before the we question. get to, oh yeah, before we get started today, question of the day is team boy or girl? I am six months pregnant right now, and we're gonna find out the gender really soon, and I can't wait to announce it with you guys. But all right, about enough about me. So for today's nails, we're gonna do some colorful glitter nails with some butterflies. Super trendy right now. And my husband don't like when I say this. It's super easy. <laughs> yes, I think it's really simple. Here you go. Here, here you go. Check it out. Okay, guys, I am gonna start out with a clear acrylic base. The reason why I'm doing so is because for a lot of guys asking how do you guys feel the client nails when they come back if they use acrylic color powder so if you do a clear base right now when you apply on your color acrylic which is the white right now when the client come back you can just drill the um, white powder down to the clear and just work over the clear again and now i'm just gonna press and pull the white all the way down to the tip of the nail like that and then cut it off And then now just using the brush, I am just going to pat it into the shape again. There you go. And for this nail, I am going to start out with a thin layer of, of clear acrylic on the bottom so my butterflies can stick to it when I press it on. So now I'm just using my wet brush just to pick up my little butterflies like that and just press it into the clear acrylic that I already have it on here. There you go. Just place it around, make it all even and cover. There you go. And if your acrylic gets dry where the butterflies aren't sticking to it anymore, we're going to pick up a little bit more like that. And then I am going to press it into the nail again. There you go. Just make sure you just pick up a thin layer of clear acrylic. Okay, guys? So you don't want it super thick at the bottom like that. There you go. Same goes for this nail. I am going to apply a thin layer of clear acrylic right there. Very, very thin and wet. There it goes, and just using my wet brush, I am just gonna pick up the butterflies and press it into the wet acrylic. And then whatever is not sticking anymore because the acrylic is dry up, we just pick up another tiny little bead and there you go, and then just apply it back on the nail so your butterflies will stick to it. All right, now I'm just gonna apply some more little butterflies in there to make sure that it's fully covered. There you go. And now we're gonna apply on a crystal clear powder to encapsulate the whole nail and make sure when you guys are working with a clear, you're going for a clear see-through look, make sure the bead of the acrylic is wetter than usual so it doesn't have that little air bubbles in it. There you go. I'm just going to press and pull it down. And then we're going to just cut it off at the end like that. And then I am just going to go apply some little bit of another tiny beads at the top like that. Because I made it pretty thin at the top in the beginning. So I'm just going to press it into the cuticles and then pull it down. Press it into the cuticles and pull it down. There you go. And then just clean off the edges on the side. Okay guys, this is dry already. So I'm going to go in with the Not Polish 5-in-1 Cross Bit. And I am just going to taper in the side of the nail first. That's the first thing I like to do is make sure I taper in the side of the nails like this. There you go. Okay, now that is good. We're going to go in and smooth out the top of the nail. There you go.
all right guys and then again same goes for this one taper in the side first the reason why i use my machine to t uh to do a lot of my shaping is because i really don't want to use so much power into sh like manpower like manual power into shaping the nail because my arm does get tired at the end of the day so i'm just going to utilize my machine to its fullest potential there you go and now that is done we're going to use the hand file from that polish also and we're just gonna file it now we're just gonna go in and use our buffer and smooth out everything and now that is done we're gonna go in with a white gel polish this is just your regular white gel polish that you paint white tips or paint the whole nail white whatever you don't want it super thick okay so I'm not using a gel art I'm just using your regular white gel and I'm just gonna paint on the design that I want right now And make sure when you guys are painting on the white gel, make sure the paint is very even because any unevenness or any lumps in the gel and then you cure it, you rub on the pigment, it will show through. It will look like it's very lumpy, all right? So just make sure after you color it in, make sure everything is smooth out. There you go. I'm just going to color it in. Make sure you just move it out right on that side also. And then again, make sure you smooth it out like there. You see those little air bubbles that you had to smooth out. Alright guys, now this is done. I am going to cure it under the light for 30 seconds. And moving on to my next nail, doing the same thing. I'm just going to paint on the white gel. There you go. Alright, now when this is done, I am just going to go in and color it in and make sure there is no little air bubbles or any uneven unevenness in my gel. There you go, and I'm just going to move it out like that and pull it all the way down. There you go. Alright guys, and get it super close to the cuticles like that. There you go. And then we're going to cure this under the light for 30 seconds. Cure it under the UV light for 30 seconds. Moving on to my next nail, I am using an ombre gel off of, um, an ombre gel from Not Polish. And I'm going to apply it on the whole nail. There you go. Just apply it on the whole nail. All right, now that is done. We're going to cure it under the UV light for 30 seconds. All right, now this is done and cure. I am gonna use my pigment and rub it directly on top of the nail like this. There you go. I'm just using my brush and just rub it directly on top of it. And then using the purple, I'm just gonna dust it on. And you guys don't have to worry about blending, making it super blended, okay? Because we're gonna go over the top of it with a uh, glitters also so it doesn't have to be super blended there you go I'm just gonna rub it on and then I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to it because I think the purple took away a lot of the blue so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blue same goes for this one I'm just gonna rub the pigment directly on top of the white gel
right now we're just gonna dust off the excess on the nail and whatever that you cannot dust off we're gonna go in with our little brush that dip in alcohol or acetone just kind of cl gently clean it off right there you go. I'm just gonna clean it off just a bit around make sure you don't get it on top of the um, the pigment the design okay because if the the acetone get it on there it will wipe off the pigment instantly and reviewing the white on the bottom all right now when you're done cleaning we're gonna go in with a transfer gel from not polish also and I am gonna apply it on top of it wherever I'm gonna stick my um, foil butterflies on top of it and okay when you put this on we're gonna dry it under the UV lights for 30 seconds and remember with transfer gel when you under cure it it will not tr the design won't transfer over to the nail so make sure you cure it just enough and the light I'm using is an OPI light and I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds all right and now that is cure I am gonna go in and cut out the butterflies that I want and I'm just gonna apply directly on top of the nail like this and then just using your finger and just rub it in all right same goes for the other butterfly we're gonna apply it on there and now I am just gonna use my finger and just apply a little bit more pressure and rub it in rub it in really really well there you go Right now that's done, I'm going to gently peel it off just very slowly to make sure that I'm getting the most out of the design first. So if it's not all the way coming off, make sure you press it back in and just rub it back in like that. There you go. Just rub it back in to make sure that you get all the butterflies out. Alright, and now I'm just going to peel it off. There you go. And we're gonna peel it off and when working with pigment it does get everywhere okay guys and especially on my uh, my silicone hand so it will get sticky to it but on your clients hand after you are done you just have to have them go wash their hands again with soap or completely come off and uh, there's here's my little tip that whatever that I did not get off missing chunk in the black I am gonna go in and color it in with a black gel there you go that didn't come off earlier I'm just gonna go in with a black gel and just color it in right there all right guys now we're gonna go in with a matte top coat just apply it on the whole nail I'm just gonna go in with a matte top coat like this and I'm just gonna apply it on the whole nail And then again, clean off the edges a bit before we cure it. And now that is cure, I am going to go in with a gel builder, okay? A thin layer of a gel builder on the bottom first. Alright, I am just using our gel builder and just apply it on there. And now the gel builder is on. Before we cure it, we're going to go over the gel builder with a top coat. Just a gel, a non-cleansing gel top on top of the gel builder. There you go. Make sure you do not cure anything just yet, okay? Make sure the gel builder is still wet. The top coat we're applying on right now. All right, we're just going to go in with the top coat. And now before we cure it, we're going to sprinkle the... A, um, the raw glitter on top of it there you go before you cure it sprinkle the glitter on top of it and when you're done sprinkle the glitter on top of it we're gonna cure it for 30 seconds under the UV lights all right moving on to our next finger I am just gonna go in with my gel builder there you go a thin layer of gel builder on the whole nail Now the gel builder is on before we cure the gel builder we're gonna apply a gel top coat directly on top of the wet gel builder there you go so gel builder on and then a 
non-cleansing gel top coat on top of the gel builder and then you sprinkle on your raw glitters and then we're gonna cure it under the lights for a 30 second all right and this glitter is our not polished raw glitter we don't have it for sale yet but you can get similar ones at on amazon michael's they have something very close to this all right guys and now that is done and cure we're gonna dust it off there you go this is the finished product and i am not gonna apply any gems on today because it's super late at the salon right now and i do not want to stay here any longer so i'm just gonna show you guys the finished product just like this hope you guys enjoy it and all my little tips i try to include in the videos and thank you again for being here with us throughout this whole journey and i'll see you guys next time You forgot to press like. You forgot to tell them to press like, subscribe. Oh, like. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Make sure you press like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. And don't forget to ring the little bell. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.